back to my channel. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a really good weekend and I actually found a really cool record I'm excited to show you. So let's just go ahead and start this video. I was just given a stack of records from my boyfriend's mom. So thank you very much. I'm really happy to show you guys what I found. I've listened to some of it. I haven't finished all of it, but so far really hitting the spot. Really everything is in great condition. But before I show you those videos, I forgot to show you the 145 that I have in my collection. And this is the new Raunchy by Shady Wall, aka Webb Pierce. I guess it's just like an alias name or something. If anybody knows more information on that, I'm so curious to hear about it. But this came out in 1958. It's very twangy. I recommend you give it a listen. You could find it on YouTube. But again, this is the new Raunchy. And then the other ones I'll get by somehow. But I like the new raunchy more. So yeah, that's Shady Wall, aka Web Pierce. Okay, now this is what I picked up yesterday at the Goodwill. This is Story Songs for Country Folks by Farron Young. He is probably in my top three. No, he definitely is in my top three country artists of all time. I love his voice. Uh, he's just, it's very like a crooner voice, very deep. But also like he has beautiful falsetto and it's just, he and Webb Pierce are in my top. Uh, Ray, Ray Price, excuse me, Ray Price is in my top. I have so many, but I'm a big fan of Farron Young and he's just an interesting guy. So if you want to watch him on YouTube or check him out, definitely do that. Okay, here's the actual stuff that was gifted to me. So I got Frontier by Journey and this is actually on my turntable right now. So it's not in the sleeve, but yeah, that's cool. Then I have a Dan Fogelberg and Tim Weisberg, Twin Sons of Different Mothers. This one came out in 1978. I think you guys know by now, maybe you don't, but this is totally my aesthetic. The 70s is just my life. I'm obsessed with it and they just, they look like the epitome of the 70s here with the long hair and the scruff and just their expressions. I don't know, something about it. So that's definitely my vibe all around. So that's cool. The next one I have is Look Sharp by Joe Jackson. I am not super familiar with this name, but maybe if I heard some of the music, then I would know. But if you know this one, let me know. Okay, then I have Shake It Up by The Cars. This is iconic, of course. I think everyone knows this one. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of The Cars. I think they're great. My favorite song is Moving in Stereo. So, you know, Fast Times at Ridgemont High is a favorite of mine. Um, the Jay Giles Band, this is Freeze Frame. Again, this is one where I'm familiar with the name a little bit, but I don't, I can't conjure up the music in my head. I have to listen to this. But that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Interesting. I have Legend by Poco. I like Poco. I'm a fan, so... I like that. And I like how simple this is because some of my records are very colorful and vibrant, but I like how this one's just kind of simple, simple looking. It's, I don't know. It's kind of chic. <laughs> That's cool. And then I have, I've got two police records. So this one is Zenyatta Mandata. Sorry if I said that wrong, but there's one of them. Super 80s. And then I have, I believe this is the debut album by The Police, Outlandos de Moor. And probably butchered that too, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. I love The Police. That one has Roxanne on it, yeah? Yeah. Yep, has Roxanne on it. Then I have Pretenders, and I don't see an album name on this. I think it's just called Pretenders. And this might even be the debut album. I'm not sure, but this has Brass and Pocket, which we all know that song, so yeah. And tell me if I'm wrong. I know I'm not wrong. This guy looks like James Spader, the guy in the middle. Like, what the heck? He literally looks like James Spader. This looks like Blaine in, what was it, Pretty in Pink? Yeah, Pretty in Pink. He looks like Blaine. I have Beatitude by Rick Ocasek of the cars, of course. Pulling a Roy Orbis in there with the shades and the dark hair. And don't these look like key sunglasses? Do you guys know key? I love key sunglasses. I get them at Nordstrom. 
And these look like the ones called high key, which is kind of funny. But yeah, everything comes back into style. So this is coming back into style. Then I have Stop Making Sense by Talking Heads. This one's like an amazing condition. I'm very impressed. It's almost as if it's brand new. Let's see, let's pull this out. Yeah, that's crazy. It's so fresh and clean. So I can't wait to play this one. This one has Psycho Killer. You guys probably know that song. I'm sure you do, but, and the other songs as well, if you wanna see the back. Yeah. Aria Speedwagon, this one's High Infidelity. Little scandalous photo there on the front. And let's see. Okay, this one has Keep On Loving You. We know that song. Take It On The Run. Okay, nice. Very good. I can't wait to hear this one. This one's in good condition too. All right, then I have Crime of the Century by Super Tramp. This one's out here looking like a Twilight Zone episode. I like that. I like sci-fi, so that's cool. Okay, you guys, a moment to prepare for the next album. You're gonna get it. Tom Petty. I love Tom Petty. I'm a huge fan. I went to his last concert at the Hollywood Bowl, his lot, like last concert ever, and it was just, I am speechless. Like, he left me speechless. It was such a great concert, such a great time, such a good vibe in the environment, and it was just like, he was just so energetic, and his voice was just as good, if not better, than what I've heard on the records. So, I'm always impressed by Tom Petty and his work, and I'm so happy to have this one. I love this album, so. That leads us to the very last album, and this is gonna be Escape by Journey. So that's cool, I got two Journey albums and two Police albums, so very happy about that. Let me know what your favorite song is. This has, let's see, okay, Who's Crying Now? I can tell you that's my favorite song on this one. Um, yeah. And what's the other Journey song on the other album? Um, Separate Ways, that's my other favorite Journey song. Uh, on that album. So yeah, let me know down below what you liked and what you didn't like maybe, if you don't like these, and any other recommendations that you think I should check out, I would love to know. And let me know what you want to see in my next videos. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.